Since 2011, North Star Marine Services vessels have taken engineers offshore to survey the Atlantic Ocean with the goal of building wind farms. One of its managers came fishing for more business at this gathering of New Jersey and Scottish energy executives. We see a huge growth. We've, we've made a couple major investments in vessels that you would normally see in uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Our philosophy is we need to connect people together in order to build the supply chain. The Business Network for Offshore Wind and the State Economic Development Authority invited the Scotland delegation and American businesses here to network. They have the know-how. They have almost 20, they have over 20 gigawatts of offshore wind installed in Europe. And so they have the ability to transfer that technical knowledge to our companies. We never want them to displace U.S. companies. What we want them to do is work in partnership with them. We're here to make sure they really understand what's going on here in New Jersey with offshore wind, understand our value proposition, and hopefully get them to uh, locate their businesses here. And create thousands of jobs after overcoming what the Business Network described as opponents or skeptics of offshore wind, the military, vessel operators, coastal towns, and fisheries. As you all know, working with commercial fishermen, they they believe that their waters are unique to them. Commercial fisherman Britt Wenzel says it's better if companies float their turbines instead of drilling into the ocean floor. And the reason why it's going to be cheaper is because you, they're not going to have to mitigate some of the economic and environmental impacts that the stationary or static te technology has. The Murphy administration has laid out a plan for New Jersey to go 100 percent renewable energy by 2050. Well, we've gotten more done in the last 18 months in this area in the previous eight years. What he started with was a very transparent process on the on procuring the offshore wind projects. How important is that to companies looking to invest in New Jersey when you have that kind of transparency? Well, you know, companies hate risk and when anytime you can de-risk something, especially something as large as an infrastructure project like offshore wind, that's extremely important. While New Jersey touts its location as ideal for wind generation and the governor's reach out approach is top notch, what do the foreigners think? You see yourself investing in here, your company investing in New Jersey? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I think uh, where you are now is where the, the Aberdeen in the northeast of Scotland was about 15 years ago, and, and we see how well it's, it's uh, progressed there, so absolutely, yeah. The EDA is using taxpayer dollars to incentivize the wind energy industry. It encourages women and minorities to list their companies and services with the EDA. The first company within New Jersey contract to build an offshore wind farm says it has a $15 million grant program to entice women and minority contractors. We're piling it here. We see a huge uh, opportunity for, you know, New Jersey to be the leader in this, and we'll see how it goes first. Michael Hill, NJTV News.